Hey everyone, Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today I want to talk a little bit about these inner housing seals you get when you get these housings. So this is a Mosier 7750 housing end. It's got a provision down here for this inner housing seal. So it is a nice feature to help keep your gear oil from leaking. So we've already identified this as a Trino end. The two inches up down center to center, three and nine sixteenths. Takes a 3150 OD bearing. So we know it's going to take like a Ford 88, 128, or a set 20 style bearing. So these bearings right here have an O-ring around the outside. You can see that. So that's gonna seal it up right here on the housing end. So you wouldn't necessarily have to run these inner housing seals. Uh, it, it is a good extra layer of protection though. They come with it. So my recommendation would be to do that if you don't have an O-ring on your bearing. There's gonna to have to be something here to seal it. You either have to have this inner housing seal uh, you have to have either that or you have to have like a set 20 taper bearing with the outer seal. So um, these seals, when you're putting them in, spring side goes in, these go all the way up in the housing end. I recommend using a seal installer, something where you get a full contact hit so you don't destroy the seal when you're putting it in. Uh, something like a oversized socket or something like that where you're getting a good even hit and you're not destroying the seal when you put it in. So. Um, so right here, inside diameter of this seal, fits an inch 500 on shaft diameter. So if you measure this up right here, where the seal rides on the axle, right at an inch 500. So, so before installing your axle, tap these in, make sure they go all the way back to the base. Uh, you do want to make sure that they are all the way back, because if they're not, what will happen, this edge of this pressuring right here that goes on, just put your bearing on, you get your pressuring that goes on. Well, if that edge of that bearing is hitting that seal, it's going to destroy it. So you want to make sure it is all the way to the back. If you have any questions, that's another thing is you want to make sure that you get this specific seal because it is going to be thinner. So if you have to replace that seal and they give you a big thick seal, you got to be careful because that edge of that pressuring could potentially hit that seal if you're using a thick substitute. So we've got them. I'll link them up below. They're 7S 151. If you need them, we'll get, we keep them in stock. So. Um, Again, don't get the substitute or the edge of that seal. You might get the edge of that pressuring and cause it to destroy it. So don't want that. Any questions about this, just give us a call. A lot of these Mosier housing ends take this 7S151. If you need help identifying what's what, let us know. But it does fit the inch 500 shaft diameter. It does fit this housing end. The spring goes inboard, goes all the way to the back. Tap it in. Any questions, give us a ring. But this does have to be sealed up somehow. You have to have an inner housing seal, outer lip seal, an O-ring on the bearing. There's got to be something on there because occasionally we get a phone call. Somebody calls us and says, hey, my rear end's leaking. Some shop put it in for me. Well, upon pulling the axle out, you find out there's no seal inside. There's no O-ring on the bearing. There's no lip seal. There's no nothing stopping it from leaking. So the gear oil is naturally going to be seeping out of there. So any questions about this, just give us a ring, 260. 301-2424. Get us at redbirdspeed.com. Drop a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. We're going to keep talking about these housings. Hang in there with us. Have a good one.